Hi, this is JavaScript while loop tutorial. So I'm gonna start by entering HTML. And the next thing is let me enter the body. And now let's define what I'm using. That's going to be script and type equals text slash JavaScript. Okay, close that and that. So the next thing I want to do now is let me define my variable as a queue. Okay, maybe let's even change that to let's start with a zero first. Then we'll come down in here and just go for let's ask the document to print out something for me. Document dot write. Okay, whatever we want it to write, we can always enter it in there. Let's just call it while loop tutorial. Alright, close that up. And maybe enter, let's enter break line there. And there. Alright, now let's close that off and just enter our loop in the Y. Q is less than 12. Alright, I would like Q to print out as follows. So right here, let's say Q equals Q plus 1. And the document to print out as follows. Right, that's what the document should print out. So the next thing is let's run this up and just see what's going to happen. I'm going to copy that. Let's come right here, paste that in there, close that off, and uh, let's close up the body and the HTML as well. Paste that in there, forward slash, forward slash, and that's it. So I'm going to save this. Let's save it and see what's going to happen. And we take it from this. So just call that w loop.html. There. Save that. So what we need to do now is let's come in here where it says run and launch it using the internet browser. That's it. That's what we get right away. Okay. We can also modify it and see. Just add maybe one or two things onto it. Okay, the next thing is let me try and get this in the center so that you guys can see it and increase the font size. So, right in here, we just enter, let's go for H1, H1, there, and maybe get everything centered as well. Yeah, that's it. Close that off. And that's all there is to it. So all we just need to do now is save it. Run our program. There. Allow. There does it. Why loop tutorial. Okay. Now what I want to do is to use a function called continuous statement. The continuous statement tells the interpreter to immediately start the next iteration of the loop and skip the remaining code so what we're gonna do now is right here right underneath here i will enter an if statement if q let's say q let's give it a value let's go for six then we enter our coil braces there so if q equals this i would like the you no know, i actually like you to skip and just enter a semicolon there and that is it so what will happen is when it gets to six it's going to skip number six and continue with the rest of the codes so let's run it now then you guys will see what this continuous statement do so if i come in here launch it allow look at that we have one two three four five six is gone Okay, then we have 7, 8, and so on up to 12. Okay, well, we can always modify it and just do one or two things with that. So, what I will do is let's come up here and just enter. Let me copy all of this. 
right up there now just say let's go for this is how this is how they continue statement works so let's run it and you guys see what I'm talking about right there allow and that is it you can see the the statement that I enter earlier on this is how the continuous statement works okay you know fully well that number six is skipped but if you want you can always allow your number six on board as well just using few just a, a line of code to make that work so you as a Java developer we can just come in here copy this and paste that in there you will that will let your number six back on board but that's not the whole idea the whole idea is just to skip one part of the loop so let, let's have a look let's do that again I don't think I saved it I'm gonna save it and let's run it again all right like that there we go you see a six in there but that is not the whole idea the idea is just to use the continuous statement to skip that very number there so I'm just gonna comment that out now you know how it's done okay so I will now continue so that we can end this tutorial all right let's close that off and here right underneath here let's enter maybe h hr let's make the size of the hr the hr is just an horizontal line let's make it maybe 20 and uh, shall we get a color for it equals that's just my color i don't know what that color is so close the hr come here save it let's run it again and see what color that might be yeah you can see that's the color up there now it's gonna come down here there we go that's the color all right so with that guys now that you know how the continue itself works previous while loop tutorial we use continue and if I run it let me just run it for you guys to see what I'm talking about click on that that is it it actually skip number six that's the whole idea of continue and it continue to the next number which is seven okay supposing we comment this out if we take all maybe just yeah let's comment it out and let's see what's going to happen make sure it's saved run the program and there you can see the number six reappears okay so the whole idea of continue is just to skip whatever statement or number you want that will be skipped within a loop but supposing we want to use what is known as break so let's change this to break and see what will happen with break will the loop continue up to 12 or stopped right at 6 so let's find that out make sure it's saved and run the program there as you can see the loop stop right at 5 and that is how you use the break statement within javascript loop system there I suppose you guys get the whole idea okay before I call it the end of the tutorial let's add a bit of modification to it you see this very horizontal line so let's modify it I'm going to copy that and just paste it along need maybe five of those just use it to to carry out color gradient so let's change that to maybe letter A that would be B and we have a C, D and E uh, maybe we'll add one more so we have up to F isn't it so we'll make that F 
So I'm gonna copy all of that now. Copy it. Come right up here and right there, paste it there and just change it around. And there guys, that's how the final code looks like. So the whole idea is this we actually generate a gradient look form of horizontal straight line. Yeah. So okay. So let's run it now and see. Make sure it's saved. Run. And then, if you guys notice the colors, look at that. So, with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. So, you all have a nice day now. Bye for now.